of his sannyasis had um, become involved with a woman. And so Prabhupada announced that he was going to marry them. And everybody was very surprised because we didn't know that that could happen. Prabhupada gave a talk about Krishna consciousness and he initiated the woman and then he married them. And he made it clear that he was caring for us and he was keeping us engaged in Krishna service. He didn't want us to go away. He didn't want us to give up. If we couldn't serve in this capacity, then he wanted us to serve in whatever capacity we could. It was so um, kind and uh, fatherly of Srila Prabhupada, the way he treated the whole situation. Um, later, I heard a, a tape of a conversation Srila Prabhupada had with another sannyasi who had left and married a woman. And then after some time, he came back and um, Prabhupada accepted this lady and initiated her. She did some wonderful service. I remember the conversation, the sannyasi was saying to Prabhupada, Lord Chaitanya rejected uh, one of his followers for just looking at a woman lustfully, and yet I have given up sannyas and I have gotten married. So does that mean that you reject me? And Srila Prabhupada said, Lord Chaitanya is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, so he can reject like that. But I am only his humble servant, and you are all helping me, so I can never reject you. It was so kind. Srila Prabhupada's total detachment and total kindness. There was never anything egotistical or material about Srila Prabhupada. Spread this Krishna consciousness movement. Parama Ananda Kanda. People will be happy. Our mission is to see Sarve Sukhina Bhavantu. We don't want to see that we exploit somebody else and I become happy. No. We want to see everyone happy, but they do not know how to become happy. Therefore, we are trying to spread this Krishna consciousness movement that Everyone will be happy. Oh. Yeah.